let us look now how to implement this approach in practice. And this slide here presents the steps of uncertainty estimation using the North test approach. Some of the steps are the same as they were in the modeling approach, but some are different. So as it was with the modeling approach, we start by specifying the measure run. But then here we don't have the modal part. It doesn't mean that we don't need any model. We do need a model because we need to calculate the result somehow, and this goes via the measurement model. However, the model is not directly a part of the uncertainty estimation approach as such. So in the second and third step, we quantify separately the URW component or the so-called component taking into account the random effects and the component taking into account the possible bias. And then both components need to be converted to the standard uncertainties and the remaining already goes exactly as it was in the modeling approach. We can calculate from these components the combined standard uncertainty and finally we calculate the expanded uncertainty.